Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with Creative Pro, here with a little sneak peek of my session I'll be doing at the upcoming InDesign and Long Documents Summit. The event is April 5th online, and I'll be doing a session all about setting up and taking advantage of paragraph and character styles. In this video, I want to show you how to create a special callout paragraph, one that has a run in heading, such as tip or example. And I have a paragraph style in here called body text, and that's what's assigned to all my text in here. But I want the word tip and the colon after it to stand out a bit. So I made a character style that has the styling that I want. It's one called bold magenta. That's all it is. It's bold and magenta in the same font. And we know that we can manually apply that, and that's great. I come in here and say, bold magenta. Great. Looks great. But I want that to happen automatically. Enter nested styles. So with nested styles, you can nest a character style inside a paragraph style based on rules that you set up. And when a paragraph follows those rules, the character style is applied automatically. So I just made a duplicate of the body text called tip body style. So right now they're exactly the same. They're just duplicates of each other. I'm going to select both of those uh, paragraphs there and choose tip body style. And then I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to come over to drop caps and nested styles. And down here, I will choose new nested style. And the first thing I want to choose is the character style, that bold magenta character style. And then I can tell it to go through, or if I click on this, I have a pull down menu. I can also go up to something, but in this case, I want it to go through the first and it's set to default to words, which includes the colon, but I want to make sure that it's only if there's a colon. So I'm going to actually type in this little area colon, right? So now it's bold up through the first colon. So we'll say, okay. So again, it was body text and now it's that tip body style. All right. But what if the callout header isn't a word, but a symbol? Well, you can make a character style. That's just another font. Normally the font information is put into a paragraph style, but sometimes the thing that is different that you want to apply a character style to is that you want the font to be different for this one thing. So let's go ahead and put this back to body text here and I made another one called pointer style, which is exactly the same as body text, but we're going to add a couple things to it. So again, I'm going to assign, let's assign a pointer style to this tip paragraph, double click to edit on it. I'm double clicking while holding down all my modifier keys, shift option command or shift alt control on a PC, um, to make sure that I don't assign it to anything if I don't want to. So anyway, I'm going to come down to drop caps and nested styles, click again on new nested style, choose that dingbat style. And again, that's, uh, I didn't show you that, but this, the, um, it's the font is dingbats and it's in green and it's a slightly larger font up through the first. And in this case, I'm going to choose characters. When I click off of that, I can see the first character is in dingbats, not exactly how we want to look yet, but we're getting there. And then I'm going to come over here instead of the word tip, I'm going to type the number two, which happens to be the symbol that I know I want in dingbats. So again, let's assign that here and we'll say pointer style and we'll make sure we put the number two. And what's nice about this with being in a paragraph style is if I start typing and I type two space, here is the info. It did that all for me automatically because it fits that little pattern that's there. There's a lot more on using paragraph and character styles, and I'm going to be covering lots of it in my session at the InDesign and Long Document Summit. That's online April 5th. Information's in the description, and I hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.